everything you're about to see could be true, or it could be the figment of our celebrity's imagination. It all depends on whether you believe. Have we all been here before? In a past life? Coming up, retribution, held in a castle dungeon by an evil lord. Romance, an illicit love affair, shunned by the community. A story full of drama, but is it fact or fantasy? It was a hard life. They often struggled to provide enough for themselves, let alone anything else. Clearly this is a guy who could have some status, and that all fits quite nicely with the idea that he might have taken on Alison's peasant, not as a wife, but as a concubine. Well, this is quite good news, because the title Earl is a serious medieval position. That's next on Have I Been Here Before. Hello. Have you ever found yourself pondering that age-old question, have I been here before? Well, we're about to meet a lady who apparently may have, and what's more, she's here to try and discover the answer. Delving into the depths of time is the British artist Alison Lapper. Has her present life been sculpted by the past? Let's find out. Alison, welcome. This is it's fascinating, this one, because right from childhood, this is something that you've believed in. Absolutely, yes. Not really talked about it, because it's something you don't talk about to, to other people in a you know, general conversation. So for me to actually have gone through this has been a real eye-opener and really fascinating. What were you expecting when you went in to see Andrew? <sighs> I was expecting not to be able to do it because I, I now suffer with, with pain um, all the time. And I thought I'm never going to get comfortable enough to actually go through the process of, of being so relaxed. Um, and it, it was fascinating that I could actually, you know, that happened and I was. And my pain went away, which was just amazing. And even for four hours afterwards, no pain. It was brilliant. I'd like well, to do it again. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that after we've had a look Indeed. at both, uh, yeah. both of our tapes. First of all, let's have a look at, uh, at the regression itself. It's been several months since Alison was regressed, and up until now she hasn't seen the tape of what happened. So uh, let's put that right now, and, uh, and here you go. Okay. Regression therapist Andrea Fawkes uses deep relaxation techniques to take Alison to a place where Andrea believes it's possible for her to access her past lives. Others believe that her relaxed state will do nothing more than set her imagination free. The question is, what will Alison make of it all? What do you sense happening now? I'm in a dark room with huge bricks, not modern bricks, old, like stone. It's cold, it's damp. Is it your choice to be in this room? No. Do you know who put you in this room? He's wearing a black cloak. And does he have a name? George. Do you know what position he holds? He's high. High up. And where were you living prior to being put in this prison? Um, I'm in sort of like a mud. round for some reason. And did anyone live there with you? My mother. What did you do every day? I fed the pigs, the chickens, I worked on the land, it was hard. And inside this hut that you lived with your mother, what did it look like inside? It was sparse, sort of, um, Play sort of jugs for drink and a big fire and straw on the floor. Where would you sleep? On the floor. It was cold. Was it always cold? Yeah. And did you ever have a father? Yes. He works with, on the land, but he doesn't own it. Maybe there's a landlord or a landowner. My father owed money, and he couldn't pay it. And because I was the able daughter, I was fit. 
and young, so he took me away. Until my father could not find the money. My mother screaming at the door. And how did you feel on that day as they're taking you? to drift ahead now to the next significant event after they take you away. We arrive at this, it's like a castle. And how old are you on this day? I'm not much older, maybe 17. And have you been fed and looked after? Or? Yeah, I had to work. And what have you had to work doing? Fetching, carrying, in the kitchen. And how have you felt about doing these chores? Like a prisoner, like a slave. Or almost like I can't do it. There's, they want me to carry too much at the same time and be in ten different places at the same time. Just drifting ahead now to the next significant event. I'm still on the inside of the castle, but someone's behind me. Yes. Literally just pushing me, shoving me. Who's pushing you? Out. Out of the castle? Yeah. And how do you feel about being allowed to leave? Relieved. Have you any idea of what year it is now? I'm about 28. I feel older. I feel different somehow. I feel more grown up. I have more responsibility as a man. And who's the man? We're not married. Does he live with you? Yeah. And does he work in your community? Yeah, he's a woodsman. And does the wood have a name? No, I don't think so. Who owns it? Oh, somebody. I don't know his name. And he comes past kind of surveying all that he owns and that includes the people 